I have some large datasets that I can't fit into Sumo on the continuous plan. For example, VPC flow, debug, and dev environment. As an admin, I need to decide which data should be moved into different tiers. Can you help? Sure. As you know, there are three types of tiers available. With your Sumo Logic Enterprise Suite subscription, continuous, frequent, and infrequent tier. All the data that is ingested into Sumo Logic goes to the continuous tier if you have not specified any other tier. Sounds good. I need some best practices for organizing data in different tiers so I can have most effective monitoring and troubleshooting. At Sumo, we recommend you select the data tier for a particular dataset based on how often you'll access the data and how you need to access it. Consider the data you use to monitor and troubleshoot production applications and to ensure the security of your applications. This data belongs in the continuous tier, where you can use it in dashboards and alerts. For datasets where the use cases ad hoc searches, especially occasional use, are a good fit for the frequent or infrequent tier. When choosing between frequent and infrequent for a dataset, consider how frequently you access the data. For example, if you have a large development team with hundreds of developers, it is better to send development and test logs to the frequent tier. Your developers are going to access it often during development. In contrast, debug or other verbose log sources are used to troubleshoot very specific issues that occur infrequently. For example, only a couple of times a week are better off in the infrequent tier to keep the cost of ownership low. Okay, can you give an example? Let's look at an online food ordering app. You have three different microservices, order service, a billing service, and the delivery service. For each service, you have application logs. Within those application logs, you have debug logs, info logs, error, and so on. The info logs are used for infrastructure monitoring. These are basically event logs and automatically computer generated by application on the network in response to network traffic or user activity. We need to get visibility and be able to run log analytics on application logs. Let's walk through what influences the choice of certain partitions and how it could be set up. That sounds pretty straightforward. Anything related to billing slash infra goes to the infrequent tier. And billing slash app log where tier equals continuous is going to the continuous partition. That means anything tagged with infrequent would go to the infrequent partition for our billing service. That's right. As a best practice, there are three steps to be followed to ensure data is moved to the appropriate partitions. First, set the collector with the appropriate fields. If required, create appropriate field extraction rules by parsing fields. It speeds up the search process as the log messages are ingested after collection. And then, set up partitions to help route the appropriate data into relevant partitions on relevant tiers. So in this example, I'll collect the app logs and infra logs first. I am assigning the billing service data to billing slash app logs and billing slash infra. I don't want to send all the application logs, that it's continuous here. So I'm going to build a field extraction rule to pull out the log level from the ops logs and define that. If it's debug log, I want them to go to infrequent tier, otherwise continuous. The next step is route data using source category for the assigned partition. You can see how that all ties together and our routing expression down here. Does this help? I have summarized all the steps here. Absolutely. This helps understand how to organize my data in different tiers in Sumo Logic. Thanks for sharing these best practices.